Who am I? Why am I? Good afternoon, morning, meaning or meaning or morning or meaning or night or meaning. What we're doing today is located in the very middle of the next screen. And in the middle of the next screen is a game that goes by the name of 98XX. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be 100% real. I don't know what this is about, but I've been recommended to go check it out because it's very similar in vibes to a dark place and I'm scared because apparently um, apparently a lot of people that recommend me games like these, they, they think that I have like a, a fetish for destroying my PC. I guess without further- Oh you! Shut your mouth and look at my dick! Let's go play 98XX! So it's an operating system. We're operating an OS, okay. Oh, that was that was really wholesome. That is such a scuffed version of Bliss. Zero out of ten. That's a scuffed version of Bliss. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't scam me. I haven't turned the scam machine on. I have no idea how this game works. I'm assuming it's just operating an OS. So um, I guess I'll just go investigate. We got jumping Julian, surfer, vid player, restart computer, and power off. This feels way ahead of its time for a 1997 to 1998 um, operating system. But uh, let's start with Jumping Julian, I guess. Dreamer Studios. Oh, that's really, really, that's really wholesome. Jumping Julian. Why does it look like a, a really weird cross between Baldy and Greg Heffley? Like the three, <laughs> the three. <laughs> oh God. Hello there. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. Hi, I Julian. When people play with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't be saying. To the top. You, ca fun. you can't be saying. You can't be saying you love when people play with you. Let's look. Why is his face just staring? He's just staring at us. Oh my god. Oh my god, this platforming is scuffed. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a, a, an educational software that was called 2DIY. Yeah, I did it. Now you mean, you mean I did small. it? This looks a bit tougher. Oh no. Oh no. We're really doing this. We're, re we're really doing this. I bet it's gonna have one bullshit hard one. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind. My platforming knowledge is off the charts. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. Let's now go to the next level. I can do this. I'm going to base this off the rule of threes, right? The third level is always where the jump scare happens. Like Scary Maze, Gemini Home Entertainment. Always the rule of three. And it's always the ones that are like a bit harder. All right, let's just go. My B up. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a bit. Okay, it's like that. This is. Okay, this one is going to be a bit annoying. This one's going to be a bit annoying. Because it. Okay, so it has. Momentum. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, dude. Oh, here we go. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Yeah. No! There we go. I told you something would break. Wait, a fatal exception. Uh, 4C, okay, has occurred at, that's even longer code. This was called from even longer code, it may be possible to continue normally. Press any key to attempt to continue. What's the any key? Julian's gonna gain sentience or like, what if the desktop background changed? Let's go back to jumping Julian and see if anything happened. Oh, oh Julian's here. It seems that a problem has occurred. But do not worry as I have fixed the game and made it even better. Well, you're out of the game! Oh, he sent him. something to ask. Okay, why are you asking? Do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? No. It's something I've really been thinking about. Why well, have you been thinking about let's it? Let's play the game. Okay, let's play. Finally, a brand new challenge. Oh! Be fun. Oh, there's new challenges now. Oh, he's put, he's put, he, he has put options for him to die. Wait, bro. Oh my God. 
What is the physics on this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be a problem now. Why is this physics? You need to, Julian, I don't know what you've done to the. Did it make it so I can't go there now? Oh my god. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. I don't trust this. Oh yeah. It crashed again. I don't think they programmed the game over. Ah, you got my PC name. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. It's th they're pulling the thaffin all over again. Aha. All right. What's the? Is the desktop background gonna be all scary and stuff? I'm gonna open Jumping Julian and see what happens now. Error. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. So Julian is um either completely out of the game, or he's um he he scuffed it. He freaked it. I'm gonna try again. Did you guys hear breathing or was that just me? Ah, there it is. There it is. I was waiting for the analog horror scary thing. Oh, hi. Oh, look at the eyes. Death comes unexpectedly. Mandela catalog head. You must die. You must die. You must die. Oh, his le his leg his his head's done the thing. Ah, my PC crashed or did it? Oh, he's smiling. What was that? Should we open Julian, jumping Julian again? Can you draw something? I don't, fine, I'll draw. I'm gonna draw something cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, this is, this, this is a masterpiece in production. I'm gonna close it like this. I'm not gonna close it like the other way. I'm gonna close it like this. Oh wait, no, you need the obligatory. Yep. <laughs> now this right here, this is a masterpiece. Let's try Surfer. Okay, Maya's Incorporated has taken the- Oh wait, we can speak it! Maya's Incorporated has taken the world by storm with the launch of our newest computer, the 98XX. This cutting-edge device has been praised by tech experts and consumers alike for its ability to seamlessly run games, surf the web, and handle all other computing needs. So, how did Maya's Incorporated come to be the best computer company in the world? It all started with their partnership with Razi I Incorporated. Wait, 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 there's a number. I don't know whether you guys can see it. Editor, enhance. There are numbers in this text in bold. These might, these might be uh, the letters. Wait, so I and then L and then B. ILB, so that's ILB. Let's go to the first one on the left. All right, so what numbers have we got here that is replacing? We've got one here, so that's I. I found two, it's another I. I don't see three. Am I being blind? Editor, am I being blind? Where are you seeing it? Oh, see it, I see it at the bottom, helped. So what numbers have we got? One, I, two, I, three, E, four, I, five, L, and six, B. All right, let's go check um, world articles. Jumping Julian is a platformer that has gained some immense popularity. That's se seven, L, eight is E, and nine is P. Okay, so Jumping Julian is like a super addictive game that kids get attached to. Like similar to Amanda the Adventurer. Let's try talking uh, Gerald. Is this like talking Ben? Calvis Games. That was talking Gerald. <laughs> Kids cheering the MP3. I love that sound effect. I know the editor loves that sound effect as well, don't you, editor? <laughs> Ask Gerald a question. All right. Oh God. Wow. You know what? I'm I'm gonna play it as honestly as possible. What's your favorite thing to do? I can't do much, but sometimes I just like to relax and think of the things that make me happy. Ah. Can you tell me a joke? You know what? I want, I want to laugh. Chat, are you guys ready? You are, you are the audience. It's the laugh factory. Let's get them to tell us a joke. What do you get when dinosaurs crash their cars? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's ask. Oh. 
Oh, is it going to do the rule of three where the third question is like an armor piercing question that causes it to just go, Aah! who made you? I am a digital program created by none other than Cal Isram. Oh, that was really nice. At least that's what I believe. Whoa! Are all the programs here sentient? I'm going to ask it to tell a story. A boy had two pet goldfish. He loved them very much. One day the boy got a new pet turtle and decided to put it in the same tank. He woke up the next morning to find out the turtle had eaten his goldfish. The boy, desperate to get his fish back, cut open the turtle only to realize all of his pets were now dead. Oh! Why, why, okay, why was that being programmed in? You know what? I'm going to ask, why do you exist? I exist for your entertainment. Oh! Someone hasn't enabled all of the EV shaders! Oh, 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 Wait, that might have been something. That actually might be uh, something that he said in reverse. My parents died when I was young. I had no one to love me. Drinking was the only thing I resorted to. That's why she left me. So something was the only thing I re so my parents died when I was young. I had no one to love me. No one to love me. Drinking was the Drinking was the only thing I resorted to. That's why she left That's me. why she left me? I know I shouldn't have done it, but now it's too late. That is why I'm here. Interesting. So that's why the you're worthless thing is there. That explains a bit. I'm opening Talking Gerald again. You know what? Despite, despite all the alcohol, you're a nice person. That is the nicest thing anyone has said to me. I might just shed a tear. Cry! Wait, you're forgiven? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but somehow I feel a sense of relief in my digital heart. It will all be over soon. Oh! It's too good to be true. I don't believe it. Oh! You said it's too good to be true. All right, let's, let's say you're worthless straight up. All right, kill him! Hey, let's be positive around here. No! You disgust me! Listen, we don't have to go down this way. Let's just change the subject. It's too late for you! Please don't do this to me. I mean no harm. It wasn't my fault. Oh. I don't know why I'm here. Why did I deserve this? Who am I? Why am I? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be another jump scare. Yo, what's up? Bro, come on. Space. Personal space. But what did he say? No, I can see. He is a bigger monster than me. That might be the does that did that look like a distorted image of the developer? Alright, you know, we haven't even looked into the documents thing. Let's read this. Are you ready to be a part of a game studio that pushes the boundaries of creativity and innovation? Look no further than Calvis Games. As a leading game development company committed to delivering high quality games that captivate players and transport them to extraordinary worlds. Why choose Calvis Games? One, uncompromising quality. Two, innovation at the core. Three, collaborative team environment. Four, growth opportunities. Five, player-centric approach. Six, work-life balance. Uh, join the family. Understanding, five, so that's A. Let's try um 90... Wait, hang on. This is after 1999. I'm writing to you as a concerned parent regarding my son and his increasing addiction to your games. As a game studio that strives to make high quality games, I believe you value the well-being of your players and I'm reaching out to seek your support and guidance. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the exceptional quality of the games developed by Calvis Games. The immersive experiences and captivating gameplay have undoubtedly contributed to my son's deep engagement and enjoyment. However, it's come to my attention that his gaming habits have started That's to interfere sick. with his daily life and overall well-being. I've noticed a significant decline in his academic performance, reduced social interactions, and a lack of interest in other activities that were once important to him. Additionally, he's been displaying signs of restlessness and irritability when he's unable to access or play your games. These concerning behaviors have led me to believe, there's a three over there, that his attachment to your games may be turning into an unhealthy addiction. So we've got, we've got codes here. So this is Myra's team. I'm writing to express my heartfelt gratitude for the new addition that you've implemented in your desktop software. The feature where pressing the enter key reorganizes the desktop. Oh, and there's eight, maybe five, three, eight. Let's try five, three, eight. All right, here we go. Oh, subject, incident report. Breaking and disturbance at Greenwood Cemetery.
a breaking at the cemetery? I met with the reporting party who stated that they witnessed, is this an Andy's Apple Farm situation again? They witnessed an individual breaking into the cemetery and digging up graves. Witness reported that they immediately called emergency services, but before the authorities arrived, the suspect fled the scene on foot. So that's what Gerald was talking about. Maybe. All right, ball popper. <laughs> oh, it's Calvin's Games once again. You guys ready for some ball busting? Oh, look at that. Wait, is this like... Oh, yes! Oh, it's like Brick Breaker. Wait, hang on. It goes off, It goes out of bounds. Wait, that's not fair. All right. I don't know why I did. Oh, it's just an extra life. Damn, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't bounce off the edges. This is not like the brick breaker on the on the BlackBerry that I grew up with. I I I'm, I'm ready for a jump scare. If, if this if this game runs on the rule of thirds, then you already know what's gonna happen. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready for a jump scare or something? Here we go. Surely there's a jump scare. I guess we keep going. You know, I'm not gonna keep going. What would happen if we lose? That's a good question. Let's try and lose. All right, that's one. And then this is the last one. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, it's blank. Oh, it's all creepy pasta. Oh. Oh, that's a child. It's a black child. I'm gonna hit him. Oh. Uh-oh. It's a, it's a, it's a black child. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. What are you saying? I can't do anything. Don't get closer. I, I'll, I'll, I'll beat you up. Huh? I just wanted to play. I just wanted to have fun. This isn't fun. I want my money. So right now, the right now the current players in the story are whatever spirits in Talking Gerald, who became an alcoholic, and um, their wife left them. Then we're jumping Julian. All that's happened there is that Julian's asked if we ever think about dying. All right, you know what? Let's listen. Let's listen to some banger soundtracks. I feel like I feel like I'm setting myself up for so much bait by having this really loud. It's jumping Julian. Not to be confused with King Julian. I hope you guys are not hooligans. Play jumping Julian. See that platform on the top left? That might be what they're talking about. Let's try it. Wait, what? Maybe it's the plat maybe it's the platform here. If we're if we're talking rule of thirds, it has to be here. Alright, let's try it. All right. Jump! Jump, my little Julian. Oh, so it's not here, right? I got a key. Wait, so whoa, 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 whoa. So what do we do with the key? Wait, let's do the audio ball popper. Ninety-eight xx dot com slash report. I think I should actually go to that side. Ninety-eight xx world dot com slash report uh-huh on august 12th 1998 at approximately 10 45 p.m a tragic accident occurred at an intersection the incident involved gary summers a 34 year old male who was arrested at the scene for drunk driving and his involvement in the accidental killing of a mother and her daughter 
And that looks like the guy at the Gary jump scare. It's like, it's like low tier God's dad. At the time of the incident, Gary Summers was driving a black pickup truck while under the influence of alcohol, which resulted in impaired judgment and delayed reaction times. Witnesses at the scene reported that Summers swerved into the wrong lane and collided with a blue sedan occupied by a mother and her six year old daughter. Summers was arrested on the spot and taken into custody by Officer James Anderson, who was the first responder at the scene. Summers was cooperative during the arrest and his blood alcohol content back was measured to be above the legal limit for operating a motor vehicle. He was subsequently charged with driving under the influence and vehicular manslaughter. Gary Summers remained in custody from the time of his arrest until March the 3rd, 1999, when a man whose identity has not been disclosed arrived at the county jail and posted Summers bail. And they said that he offered Summers a job opportunity to support his re to job opportunity for rehab. When was the date again? March 3rd, 3 1999 the grave digging incident happened on February the 18th. These dates aren't adding up right now. The disturbance was there in 1999 and the bail was posted a few days later after this happened. Let's go and let's go and check the last one. It just says unknown. What's unknown? And is it going to be like a super loud noise? The hell was that? What do you think that noise was? I thought that was like a phone ringing, but like... Okay, stop right there. Hi, everyone. It's me, the editor, Kasu. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to give you this breaking news. Let's see. Uh... That missed something! <laughs> But don't worry, I'm here to save it. Turns out, this audio is actually a spectrogram, not a fucking telephone. What the hell, Faf? But if you take this, reverse it, and look at it through a spectrogram viewer, you get the- Oh. Oh my god. I am always you. I am always lucky. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we, we get it. Should we try jumping off the platform on every level and see what happens? Let's try jump off the left now. Because we got one of the keys, so... Oh, I think we're reaching something here. So that was the key to unlock whatever's here. Maybe the desktop's gonna change if it's the rule of threes. Why is jumping Julian slightly? There we go. That was instant. Hey, that's not nice. That's not nice. That was instant. Owie. Now what? Oh, we have to navigate. It's literally, it's, it's literally like Andy's Apple Farm. Julian was not having that. We found the key. Is this meant to be a remake of Adventure? So why will we find the Easter egg? Where are the dragons at? Wait, which one? Wait, hang on, hang on. Which one would we know? Oh wait, there's more. Wait, so we have the, the two, we got two dead people. But what, what, what are those three ghost things then? I think something's lurking in here. Hi. The hell is that? I don't know why I just did. It is finished. What? It's gonna jump scare me, isn't it? I can't press anything. What was that? Let's check the photo gallery. Ah, here we go. Here it's gonna start getting, it's gonna start getting goofy, isn't it? There's, there's gonna be a jump scare here, I know. Oh, I, oh, I know. Oh, I know you tricks. Oh, I know you tricks. You, you think you're slick? These are nice pictures. Oh! Oh, that's a jump scare. That's, that's so bait. So I'm gonna click it! Ah, 749. Oh no, he turned black. Let's try 749. <gasps> we got a new one. Fatal car accident caused by drunk driver. Yeah, this is the... Okay. I'm gonna try something. This might be some important law thing. Everyone, buckle up. Buckle up, kiddos. They made a noise. 
You can click on them. The mysterious disappearance of Jason Storm from Razy Eye Inc. In early October of 1998, Jason Storm, an employee of Razy Eye Incorporated, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. You know, I'm just gonna read it. A promising young engineer was last seen headed to the company's warehouse where he was scheduled to work on a new project. When he failed to return, his colleagues raised the alarm and the search was launched. However, despite an intensive investigation, no trace of Storm has ever been found. The disappearance of Jason Storm remains a mystery to this day and has left his family, friends and colleagues with many unanswered questions. Rumours and speculation have swirled around the incident, with some suggesting foul play and others pointing to a potential accident or technical malfunction. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, some have even speculated that Razy Eye Inc. may have played a role in Storm's disappearance. However, the company strongly denied any involvement and has cooperated fully with the authorities in their investigation. The case has remained open, with authorities continuing to search for any clues that may help shed light on what happened to Jason Storm. Meanwhile, his loved ones continue to hold out hope that he may one day be found alive and well. The disappearance of Jason Storm has had a profound impact on those who knew him and has served as a member and a reminder of the dangers that can lurk in even the most seemingly secure and mundane of workplaces. It's also raised important questions about workplace safety and the responsibilities of employers to ensure the well-being of their employees. While the case may remain unsolved, the memory of Jason Storm lives on and his disappearance continues to serve as a cautionary tale about the importance of workplace safety and the need for companies to prioritize the well-being of their employees. This is about Razy... I think Razy Eye is like Amazon. You think Jason Storm... Wait. I can click this. And I can click this. Is there more? The rise and fall of Jumping Julian. <laughs> In the world of video, well, we have to we have to format it as like a commentary video, like a like a video essay. In the world of video games, success can be fleeting. One day you're the talk of the town, the next you're yesterday's news. This was the case for Jumping Julian, the once popular game created by John Monkford that quickly fell out of favor due to harsh feedback. Jumping Julian was initially greeted with excitement and anticipation. The game promised a unique platforming experience with vibrant visuals and engaging gameplay. However, as players began to spend more time with the game, they started to notice some serious design flaws. One of the biggest complaints was the game's annoying gameplay, which featured frustrating controls and repetitive level design. Players found themselves getting stuck on obstacles and dying frequently, leading to a sense of frustration and boredom. The poor design choices were not lost on players, and reviews for the game were overwhelmingly negative. One person in particular, Jason Storm, I think he left a harsh review and they unpersoned him. One person in particular, Jason Storm, left an extremely harsh review that left John Monkford heartbroken and depressed. The negative feedback proved to be too much for Monkford, who struggled to cope with the criticism, gets criticized once dies. After a few months, he decided to leave the game development business and pursue other opportunities. After a few months, he decided to leave the game development business and pursue other opportunities. Monkford landed a job at Razy Eye Inc., a company known for its innovative computer chips. While he may have left the game development world behind, his experience with Jumping Julian taught him valuable lessons about the importance of listening to feedback and constantly striving to improve. The downfall of Jumping Julian serves as a cautionary tale of game development is a the, the downfall of Jumping Julian serves as a cautionary tale for game developers everywhere. It's a reminder that success can be fleeting, and that even the most promising games could quickly fall out of favor if they fail to live up to player expectations. One, two, and finally, let's do this. We're sent, oh, don't worry, I won't destroy the earth if I click on this. Let's click on it. Ah! The suicide outbreak at Razy Eye Inc. What? In a shocking turn of events, several employees at Razy Eye Inc. have committed suicide while playing the game Jumping J Employee was found dead in his office. So is that... Wait, there were nine bodies. Maybe those are the people that like succumbed to the wrath of Jumping Julian. They discovered that John Monkford, the game's creator, had included subliminal messages in the game that appeared to have triggered the suicidal behavior in some players. In response, the company contacted the police and launched a search for Monkford. However, when they finally located him, they discovered that he too had taken his own life. It's Polybius without the epileptic fit. Actually, no, wait, there is an epileptic fit jump scare. 
when it blue screens. They shut down on December 15th, 1998. Wait, hang on, that's not right. Do you know the body incident happened way after? All right, what's gonna happen this time? Oh. Wait, what do you mean downloading video? Whoa! It's a QR code. What does this QR code lead to? All right, I've just scanned the QR code on my phone. It's a TXT file. I A5 H3R4. This is a hex code. I wander in darkness, but never in light. I get to their heads and feed off their anger. You wish to find me. I know you do. Seek out these places and look very hard. That's the hex. Okay. It ends with three links, but I, d I do feel like uh, this will have to do with another video or another well later on in the stream because it's gonna take some time to investigate and i want to try and get to other stuff but this is really cool we did get some form of ending but i feel there's more to this than meets the eye there's lots of information and it looks like this is getting frequently updated as well i'll definitely continue this investigation but for those of you guys who are watching on the second channel thank you guys so much for watching this obviously i'm probably going to play more of this i really really enjoyed this game i really enjoyed meta horror games if you want to buy the game yourself it is going to be linked in the description of this video for those of you guys who are watching on the second channel i will see you guys in another video.